You've heard the guitar and the man. Although when Lenny Bro is in the act of making music, they hardly seem two different things. There's a third element in what makes Lenny, his personality. But it's elusive because it emanates from a small, shy man who came to Winnipeg ten years ago as Lone Pine Jr. Hesitant of speech, reticent, strong as the impression all who know him have. It baffles even a man like Bob McMullen, Winnipeg composer, arranger, who knows Lenny as well as anyone knows Lenny. He likes to play uh, chords of his own construction. Uh, musicians that know him often say that he, uh, he doesn't really know how good he, he is, how much talent and how much uh, technical ability, how much playing ability he has. Uh, his influence, too, uh, as far as uh, musical styles, I think here in Winnipeg, he's really uh, influenced every musician that has ever worked with him. will bring things into it that uh, a lot of other musicians have never thought of. Uh, well, the same applies to any kind of music that he plays. He is in this, uh, for lack of a better way to say it, a, a little world of his own. Um, not because he likes to shut himself off, but uh, music is, I, I guess, his whole life, his whole reason for being. Uh, people refer to him as a genius. Uh, some people even think he's a little kooky because of his... Uh, is not his mannerisms, but uh, he's an individual. This uh, individuality shows through everything he plays and everything he does. He has uh, a commercial sense in that he can play uh, music for all kinds of people. His whole personality shows in, in his playing through the guitar and uh, through the way he is, the way he says hello or uh, the way he uh, eats those cheese and onion sandwiches with the mustard. Mm -hmm. 